The snow and silence of Cross Lake Cemetery has been disturbed. New graves for suicide victims, six since December. One, a teenager named Finola, was buried on her 15th birthday. To come home to my daughter and it's, it's very unexplainable what happened. We don't know why. We'll never know why because she didn't tell her friends. We never saw it coming. Hello, crisis line. But she's seen it before. She was working the suicide crisis line more than a decade ago when 163 people tried to take their own lives, one every other day. Back then it was mostly adults, now it's youth. Drugs and alcohol account for some of the problems, but another reason often cited the province's child welfare authority. Of the three teens who took their own lives in the past two months, two of them were in provincial care. Uh, we will work with the community to get to the bottom of their concerns on this. But the focus now, he says, more resources to prevent suicide. The federal health minister is promising more help. The number of therapists, traveling therapists who are available in the community. We've increased other mental health service providers. There are four doctors available. The recent suicide was my own cousin, who I considered my sister. The vice chief of Cross Lake, also in mourning, hopes it's enough. Burying our youth is not what we want to do. While the chief and council, politicians and police work on finding solutions, Cross Lake will bury another suicide victim this weekend. Jill Mackishon, CTV News, Winnipeg.